Hey friends, family, what's going on? My name is Skylinks. Today we're going to be talking about the Humble Bundle, or Humble Indie Bundle, number 17. And I guess when you first get to the page, it's going to seem pretty random. And I think that's actually kind of the theme a little bit. I mean, indie games, when you, whenever you bundle them together, they're, I don't know. They're, they're always weird, right? They're always very niche and specific, have very strange art styles. Uh, but so, you know, it's going to be kind of like an amalgamation of just random stuff. But I think that for this particular bundle, it really feels like that's kind of the theme. Like every one of these games is just really like, they kind of play on randomness as being like the humor, you know, just like things that are just completely out there. Uh, so if you haven't seen any of these games, you know, you Rated can go and, and of ten, course, ten check out the, the trailers and everything. And um, a lot of humor, like the, these three games here have a lot of humor in them, uh, especially Lethal League. Lethal League is basically like a comp it's like fight like take take pong make it a fighting game kind of it's like competitive pong sort of okay uh it's got really cartoony comical graphics you can show the trailer just for a couple of seconds here switch yeah yep that's lethal league anyways uh to me personally i'm not too excited about this game i mean you can pay whatever literally whatever you want so you get this game for like nothing basically now i see nuclear throne over there for ten dollars or more i personally think nuclear throne is okay but there are other games out there that i've spent a similar amount on and i like i mean there's like uh dungeon souls i play dungeon souls a lot nuclear throne is really cool it's got really interesting mechanics and it is fun but if you have another game in a genre i mean it's just extremely similar uh, you know, Binding of Isaac and stuff like that. So at $10, it also, I believe, I don't know if, to, if it's been fixed, but it doesn't run at 60 FPS. It's made in Game Maker, it doesn't run at 60 FPS, um, and that does bother some people. So paying full price for a game that doesn't run 60 FPS on PC might not be great. Uh, but I do believe the game just also implemented co-op. So for $10, co-op's pretty cool. And speaking about co-op, a lot of these games, especially these bottom here, uh, I don't know if, the more, if more games are gonna be co-op, but if you pay more than the average, this is a co-op game, this is a co-op game, this is a co-op game. They're great. They're great co-op games. Actually, wait, this is this is full co-op. Yeah, okay. It's full co-op. Okay. I haven't played this, but it actually looks really funny. It looks really funny. It looks really comical. Really insane. Like, look at this. It's ridiculous. It's random. You see what I'm saying about the randomness? Instantaneously, you can see. Anyway, so is it worth it? Okay, let's see. Let's see. About $6 right now. Plus, there's more games coming, and the average is probably going to go up. Um, first of all, Octodad, I have this game, and if I, if I do buy this bundle, which I'm thinking I might buy it, uh, then I will give away a copy of Octodad. So, look forward to that on my Twitter. So, Octodad is super stupid fun. It's really short, though, so getting it full price, honestly, I don't know. Um, maybe... It depends on what kind of person you are, but it's, it's just extremely short. So full price, normally I, I have like a ratio of dollars to hours played. That's not everything though. I mean, I can appreciate short games. I paid $15 for Limbo, you know, and that was perfect. So Octodad though is like, you're going to beat this in like two hours. Like it's really short. It's really fun though. And if you play co-op, it is stupid fun. Uh, it's got some replayability, especially, you know, cycling through your friends, trying to show off the game. But basically uh, one player uh, controls a limit. It's up to four players, by the way. Um, so one player controls one limb or two, the other controls the other limbs, and you just try to do things. I can't really explain it. You're a squid trying to be a human, trying to do human things, but you're, oh sorry, you're, you're an octopus. Excuse me. <laughs> and, uh, you're just, you know, you're trying not to drop things, and it, dude, it's just fucking fun. Shut up, guys. Anyways, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. I saw this trailer for this. I didn't want to get it full price, though, but I really want to play this game. Apparently, it's like, um, it's kind of like a twin-stick shooter, except... You're two people, and you're piloting, you're piloting a spaceship together. So you need to move around to these different modules. You need to move around to these different modules, and then like control the ship that way. And so, it's two people controlling one ship. It just seems really fun, dude. And it's got a really cool art style. It just looks really cute. Like, look at this, dude. It looks ridiculous. And yeah, it's a little bit random. But anyways, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time just like oozes co-op, and I think I I want to get it. I want to get this whole bundle just for that. So, anyways. Um, pretty much every hum hum humble bundle, humble, 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 in humble indie bundle, excuse me, it's all worth it. Like, you know, you can find a game that's worth it. It's just if it piques your interest, you know, if it's part of the genre that you like playing. I really like co-op co games. I like couch party games, stuff like that. So Octodad is worth it. I already have it, though, personally. 
Super Time Force Ultra looks also really cool, but it's not quite in the genre that I normally like playing. Uh, however, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time is really piquing my interest. So even if I just wanted this game at this at this price, it's worth it. It absolutely is. And then you remember, you're getting all sorts of different bonuses. There's even more games to come if you buy early. You do, like if you spend this amount of money, you do get these extra games as they unlock, by the way, guys. And then we get these other games, like Lethal League, I would never ever buy it, but hey, maybe I could have fun like, for one hour. I could play it, you know, just, just throw it in there, maybe during a party or something, have some friends over and play some competitive Pong, you know what I'm saying? The Beginner's Guide is actually, uh, is this not from the people who made the, the Stanley Parable? So, I haven't played the Stanley Parable. Yeah, creator of the Stanley Parable. Pretty interested in it. I think it could be fun. It's probably gonna be like 30 minutes long, but hey, you know, we're, I'm basically getting it for free because I want lovers in a dangerous space time, which is also on discount. So that's normally how these humble bundles works. I have to say though, I'm not a fan of this game. I normally wouldn't buy this game. I wouldn't buy this game. Uh, Galaxy is a twin stick shooter by the way, guys. Well, it seems to have like some very animated, uh, like story. And, yeah. Well, there you go. Anyway, so let's go look at the gameplay. Here's the gameplay. The pile of the a pew pew. Pretty humorous, but anyways, not my cup of tea. Hopefully, the other games come out. Uh, I can get a little bit more. But honestly, I'm completely happy. I'm not gonna. Sp I'm not gonna pay ten dollars though for Nuclear Throne. One, I already have it. Uh, and two, even if I didn't have it, I probably would not get it at this point. Um, just because I have so many similar games, and even though I love the genre. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't have anybody to play these kind of games with me, so the co-op would be wasted just a little bit. Um, but yeah, it... I mean, there are unique mechanics to Nuclear Throne, but Dungeon Souls, Binding of Isaac, I mean, that just kind of covers my bases, you know? So, I only have so much time to play certain games, and I like playing the really unique games. And Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time and Octodad, those are super unique games that really haven't been duplicated yet. All these other games, there's, you know, there's there's some sort of other game like it out there. Some even free, you know, you can go on like Newgrounds or something. Probably play something similar to Lethal League. I wouldn't doubt it. It looks like it's from Newgrounds. Um, but yeah, so if you if you want some really good games and you haven't bought an Octodad or Lovers in Danger Space Time, you get all these extras for free, I guess. Um, basically for free. But these are worth it. These are worth it. And like me, even if you have one of these games, just buying any one of these games makes the bundle worth it. So that's my review, uh, personally. Also, if you guys have never played a game like Nuclear Throne, I will say this. Nuclear Throne is extremely difficult, and I mean, if this is like your first adventure into the genre, maybe it's not the best game. Honestly, I'm going to recommend to not spend the $10 to get Nuclear Throne if you have not gotten it yet. But that's all I have to say. Um, this is the bundle. Is it worth it? Honestly, yeah, they got some pretty cool games, um, but they also have some weird games that maybe won't appeal to everyone. That's just kind of how these indie bundles work, especially one that seems so focused on being completely freaking random. But then again, you might find the one game that's worth it, and it is worth it. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Sky, and this was the Humby. Hum, hum, <laughs> the Humby in blah. Anyways, tongue tied aside, Humble Indie Bundle 17. And see you guys again next time.